contact the spirits of those... Uh, Ruth, uh, what's going on here, dear? Oh, John, we've been waiting for you. Oh, good evening, John. Good evening, John. Well, uh, what are you doing? What's this all about? You break the spell. Yes, and I'll break my neck if you don't put some lights on in here. Quiet, please. We are about to proceed. Who is that? Oh, you you don't know, Omar, do you? This is my husband, my husband, Mr. Simmons, Omar. I am pleased and delighted to meet you, Sid. And now, John, we're about to enter into communication with the spirit world. Well, I would expect this from Ruth, but you, Paul. Say, hey, are you serious? Well, of course, John. Well, of all the... Do you believe in this thing too, Bill? Well, I'm very interested. Well, I'm surprised at all of you. Oh, please, John. You may proceed, Omar. Thank you, men, Sid. Well, uh... Why does he have to make so much noise? I am about to make contact with the gods, side. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, did you have any particular one in mind? I had. Do you see this statue before me on the table? Oh, certainly. It's big enough. That is the great god, Siva. You will notice that he is blessed with seven hands. Oh, now, this was too much, Ruth. This turban faker and his seven-handed playmate... Stop! Maybe. You have defiled the honor of Siva. He is communicating with me now. Quiet, please. He says... Oh. Wait. He says that there are dire things in store for the Simmons family. Yes. Siva is greatly offended. Siva promises. Siva promises death. Oh, it's a bunk. Pure, unadulterated bunk. You, Mr. Omar, your tin symbols and your seven-handed friend can all get out of my library. Now, I have some work to do. Oh, John, how can you be so rude? Well, now, you'll please oh, do as I ask John, you. I am leaving, Mrs. Simmons. But before I depart, one word to your husband. Oh, yeah? Well, what is it, my servant friend? I must warn you, Saeed. You have angered the great god, Siva. Death must follow. <laughs> Just about time for bed. Oh, that you, Bill? Hey, who put out those lights? Huh? Well, <laughs> come on, I'll stop playing games. Uh, turn on the lights, Bill. Hey, guys, uh, let go. Let go of me. Help. Help. Oh. John. John, what's happened? <laughs> John. John, you've got to... Wait a minute, Paul.
we come in, Commissioner? Oh, hello, Cranston. Miss Lane. Hello. Uh, what do you two want? Well, that's an interesting point. You see, Commissioner, we were sitting around having dinner, and I said to Margot, what are you doing? And she said... Nothing. What are you doing? And Lamont said... Nothing, and uh, there you are. And there I am. So you came down here to bother me. Oh, now, Commissioner, is that nice? We just thought that... That I'd be doing nothing? Yes, Commissioner, that's right. That's what we thought, that you'd be doing nothing. Oh, you did? Huh? Mm-hmm. Well, you were wrong. I'm very busy, and I'm leaving headquarters right now. Somebody passed through a red light, old boy? Did somebody pass Well, maybe it? somebody broke a window. No, no, my facetious friends. Somebody was murdered. Oh, gosh. Well, we did get here just in time. Who was it? John Simmons, the broker. When did it happen? A few minutes ago. He... Listen, you're wasting my time. Buy a paper in the morning. You read all about it. Oh, that won't be necessary. Mm. What do you mean? We're coming with you. And then, Commissioner, Omar predicted that Siva would seek vengeance for the wrong that was done. And this same statue was the murderer's weapon, Mrs. Simmons? Uh, yes. You, sir, what's your name? Uh, Paul Loring. I'm Mrs. Simmons' nephew. And you? I'm Bill Reynolds, Commissioner. Mr. Simmons was a very dear friend of mine. Oh. Do you both agree with the story that Mr. Simmons has just told me? Yes, yes of course. We do. Uh, may I say something, Commissioner? Uh, oh, what is it, Cranston? Well, this Omar chap sounds like a pretty fascinating character, Commissioner. Wouldn't it be wonderful if Omar could name the person who assisted Siva in taking his revenge? Well, it sounds like a wonderful idea, Lamar. Now, wait a minute, both of you. I agree with I... Mr. Cranston, Commissioner. But Mr. Simmons, oh, I... Well, Omar guess... could do it. I know he could. He could hold a seance, communicate with my husband, and then John could name the one who killed him. Listen, lady, there's a police department in this city. I am the head of that department, and we don't trap our criminals with a Ouija board. But this thing might be a simple way to solve the whole case. Cranston, now, that's... please, Commissioner, won't you just try it? Oh, I'm sure that Omar can help us. Okay. Okay, where does this Omar live? I'll show you. Well, suppose we all get going. Oh, just a minute. You're not in on this party, Cranston. Oh, but No, Miss Lane, either. I'm going to be made a fool of. You're not going to be there to see it. Oh, but Commissioner, we... Sorry, those are orders. Now, come along, all of you. Tell you the truth, Mrs. Simmons, I've never been to a seance. Lamont, what do we do? Well, I've got a hunch there'll be an uninvited guest at that seance. The late Mr. Simmons? No. The shadow. <laughs> We will proceed with the seance. You will all sit in a circle. Now, wait a minute. What's this circle business? Please, I must have silence, Commissioner. Huh? Now, someone will put out the light. You shall all join hands, please. The hands must remain joined. The chain must not be broken. We are thinking many minds as one mind. Our thoughts are traveling to the world that is beyond the world. We are seeking contact in this world. Contact with one that has newly arrived. We are sending our wishes that you will return to us in spirit and speak to us. Now, now, the contact has been made. The spirit of he who was once among us, the spirit of John Simon, will speak to us again. Speak. John Simmons. Speak, John Simmons. <laughs> Thank you, John. That's not his love. No, you're quite right. This voice belongs to the shadow. Shadow, what are you doing here? Sorry to interrupt your little party, Commissioner West. Turn on the light, someone. Turn it on. That would be a wasted effort, as the Commissioner will tell you. Even if the lights were on, I would be quite invisible. By my hypnotic powers, I've clouded your mind so that you may not see me. That's right. Why did you come here? To tell you that Mr. Simmons will not appear tonight. You lie. No, Omar. I had the foresight to cut the cable that leads from the amplifying system to the loudspeaker 
that is under your chair. Shadow, you mean this whole business is a fake? That's rather a harsh way of stating it, but true. Well, of all the... One moment, Commissioner. Before you sneak out the door, Omar, huh? you're going to answer a few questions. What questions? How did you know that Mr. Simmons was going to die tonight? The great God, Siva, revealed it to me. That's a lie. No, your no. Your source of information was human. Someone requested that you plant your threat, didn't they? Please. Please. I don't know what you're saying. Answer me. You must reveal what you know. Very well. I will tell you. I will tell you all that I know. But you must protect me. You must save me from meeting the fate that beheld John Simmons. You must save me from meeting death at the hands of... Put on those lights, yes. Look, he's been shot through the head. That revolver oh. on the table is still smoking. That gun. That gun. What about it? It belonged to my husband. Siva, does it work again? It wasn't Siva this time, Ruth. That gun was fired by someone in this room. Oh, oh Paul. Oh. What about the shadow? Where is he? Yes. Yes, where's the shadow? Shadow, shadow you still here? He's gone. Well, that's your murderer, Commissioner. Listen, right now, I don't care who the murderer is. What do you mean? All I can see is a blazing headline. Police Commissioner at Seance where Mystic is killed. Mind confessing to you, Lamont? I'm completely baffled. Well, uh, how about the murderer's gun? Were there any fingerprints on it? Not a sign of one. Well, then it couldn't have been the great god Siva. What do you mean? Well, surely with seven hands, he'd be bound to leave at least one fingerprint. <laughs> well, I'd rather not hear any more talk about the great god Siva. Did you see the newspapers? You mean the headlines? Yeah. They're calling me Seven Hands West. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine stuff for the department. Well, you would go running around the seances. Listen, who was the one who insisted that I attend that clam bake? <laughs> you, my friend. You told me it'd solve the whole case. Well, I can be wrong, you know, Commissioner. Yeah. And I can be wrong for even talking to you. Now, clear out, will you, both of you? I've got work to do here. You mean you don't want us to help you? Yes. You can help me by getting out. Well, you'll be sorry. Come on, Margot. Okay. We'd still like to give you a hand, Commissioner. No, but he doesn't need one, Lamont. No? Of course not. He's got seven of them now. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> well, what to do now, Lamont? Well, I think your visit to the Simmons household might be in order. May I come along? No, I'm afraid not, Margot. This will be a private visit for the shadow. I do know how you feel, Ruth. And I wish I could do something to help. Oh, why don't you stop that talk, Bill? Don't pull what you say. All day long I've heard nothing but I do know how you feel, Ruth. And I do wish I could help, Ruth. Oh, Bill has been very sweet to me, Paul. I know how sweet he's been to you. You think I'm blind? What do you mean? Now listen, Bill. You may have fooled John Simmons, but you're not fooling me. You're crazy about Ruth. Oh, Paul. Always have been crazy about her. Now that John is out of the way, there's nothing to stand between. Just a minute. Are you implying that I killed John Simmons? Well, are you? Are you saying that I murdered my best friend just to get his wife? If the shoe fits, then... Oh, no, you... please. Please, both. I'm not going to stand for that kind of talk, Ruth. Oh, no. No, you lying just little... Just a minute, gentlemen. I see you remember me, Mrs. Simmons. What are you doing here? What do you want? Well, I came here to clear up a misunderstanding. The accusation that I killed your friend Omar... You must have done it. You were the only one. No. Don't forget that there are three of you, any one of whom could have committed both the murders. That's not true. I must confess, Mrs. Simmons, that I've been eavesdropping on your little conversation here, and it was most revealing. Now, oh, see here, if you're going to believe what Paul just said about me... I'm not believing anything, yet. First, I must ask some questions. We'll begin with you, Mr. Reynolds. Well? Is it true that you are in love with Mrs. Simmons? Is it? Yes. Bill... Why did you... Why not admit it, Ruth? It's bound to come out sometime. I'm not at all ashamed to say that I love you. And the inheritance from Mr. Simmons' estate. An inheritance that will go to his wife. Does that make her any less attractive in your eyes? No. No, it doesn't. That's not my reason for loving you. There, you see... Just a minute, Mr. Loring. You said that John Simmons was your best friend, Mr. Reynolds. Was he still your best friend before he died? Well, I... Of course he wasn't. They'd had a quarrel. Ruth will tell you that. Oh. Is this true, Mrs. Simmons? Well, well, perhaps it is. Oh, but Bill didn't kill him. I know he did. How do you know? Why, I... I just feel it, that's all. That's not a complete answer, Mrs. Simmons. You know more than you're willing to tell. Oh, no. No, I... When the second seance started, the one at which Omar was killed, the mystic instructed all of you to join hands. Isn't that right? Yes. One of you broke that chain when the shot was fired. 
Now, which one of you did it? Not I. I didn't. Uh, no, no, I didn't do it. One of you is lying, and I'm warning you. I shall be watching all of you constantly until I find out who it is. That guilty one will then answer to the shadow. <laughs> Lamont. Not very much. At this point, I would say that any one of the three could have done it. Even Simmons' wife? Yes, even his wife. Well, perhaps it was all three of them. Wait, Margo. What? Wait, I think I have it. I think I've come up with something. Well, what? What Margo, is it? this could be the key to the whole mystery. Well, tell me. I'll take it. Hello. Lamont, this is Weston speaking. Oh, yes, Commissioner. Save us truck again. What? Who is the victim? Woman's nephew, Paul Loring. Attacked with the same statue that killed Simmons. Is he dead? I don't know. Look, Cranston, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I think you might be some help to me. Meet me out at the Simmons' home at once. The police commissioner is right in there, sir. Oh, thank you. Come along, Margo. Well, good evening, Commissioner. Uh, come in, Cranston. Uh, thank you. I... Loring, you're alive. Yes. Yes, I'm alive. Uh, he was just stunned by the blow. He's got a bump on the head, that's all. Go ahead with your story, Loring. Well, as I told you, I. I was seated at Simmons' desk. The lights went out. Then someone seized me. We, we struggled, and then I was struck on the head. That, that, that... Reynolds, where were you and Mrs. Simmons? We were upstairs. We heard Paul call for help and rushed down. Did you see anyone leave the room? Uh, no. No, we didn't. Commissioner. Yes, Cranston. May I make a suggestion? Oh, same old story. Not another seance. Yes. Only I'll conduct it this time, Commissioner. Yeah, you? Yes. I do have a knowledge of those things. Now, listen. There will be no more seances, even if Sieber himself were conducting it. But, Commissioner, what have you got to lose? Yeah. What have I got to lose? Just my job, that's all. Commissioner, that last gathering, the one that Omar conducted, proved that the murderer was human and present in Omar's apartment. So, at another seance, the murderer would be present again. Oh, why do I listen to you? But you are listening, Commissioner. Will you give me a chance? All right, all right. Good boy. I'll bring Mrs. Simmons, Loring, and Reynolds to your apartment in an hour. Let me warn you. If any word of this thing leaks out to the newspapers, believe me, Cranston, in front of witnesses, I'll skin you alive. Well, now that we're all gathered here, I... I'd just like to say that I'm merely an amateur at this psychic business, and I promise no definite result. I will, however, follow the usual seance procedure. I've arranged the seats in a circle, Lamont. Oh, thank you, Margot. Now, uh, will you all please occupy the same seats that you used at Omar's seance? Well, I was I sitting on this side. Right. All right. Thank you very much. Now, Margot, would you please put out the light? Yes, surely. There you are. In this circle, as in the circle before, hands will be joined as hands were joined before. The chain must not be broken. Thought must concentrate with thought, mind with mind, until all thoughts and minds are one. Through space, through the infinite, through the many outer worlds we journey together, hands linked, minds linked, in search of one who can tell us much. Omar, do you feel this wave of thought that is reaching you? Omar, speak to us. Speak, Omar. Look, slowly merging into life. It's Omar. The face of Omar. It is. Silence, Silence, please. Speak to us, Omar. Reveal to us all that you know. I have been awaiting your call. I could not rest until the sun was reached me. I must tell all that I know. One of you. One of you gathered here was my friend. I trusted you, friend. Believed in you. But you failed me. Betrayed that trust. You. You are my murderer. Why did you do it? 
swine. Did I not swear to keep our plan secret? Did I not fulfill my part of the bargain? No, no. I cannot no. rest. The great Caesar will not let me rest until I reveal the name of the murderer. I must unmask him that all may know of his treachery. Stop it, stop it. I cannot stop now. I must reveal the name. I must bring this into the open. Paul Lawley. No, no, this is a trick. This is no trick. I followed your instructions, Paul Lawley. I helped you to do away with John Simmons. I defiled myself by putting the blame for it on the great name of Seba. You killed him. I'm alive. You killed him, but you killed Shut me up. as well. Shut up. Shut you up. are Shut a up. double man. You're dead. Margo, quickly. Right. Time, now. You're dead. Take your gun away from me, Commissioner. Give me that revolver. Oh. Commissioner, there's your man, Mr. Paul Loring. Oh, Paul. Oh, I can't believe it. I did it. I killed John. Why? Why? Because of his money. His money. How could you get the money? It all went to his wife. Well, his wife is also my aunt. I knew that when the estate passed into her hands, I could control both her and the money. Why did you kill Omar? He knew too much. And I suppose the blow on the head that you received in the library was self-inflicted? Yes, 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 yes. No more questions. Please, please. All no right, more questions. all right. Better come along with me, Loring. You too, Mr. Simmons. I'll go with you, Luke. Thank you, Bill. Well, I hope you enjoyed the seance, Commissioner. Well, it was all right, Cranston. I didn't really need it. I was wise to this bird all along. Come on, everybody. Uh, good night. Good night, good night Commissioner. Commissioner. <laughs> well, Lamont, that was an excellent job. Well, thank you, Margo. But you know, I do wish you'd explain a couple of things to me. Oh, what's that? Well, first, I could have sworn that that was Omar himself. How did you manage that? <laughs> that was a death mask of his face. Oh. And as for the voice, well, I indulged in a bit of mimicry. I felt sure that it would unnerve the killer and he'd give himself away. But how did you know that Lauren was the killer? Oh, it was simple. The good old process of elimination. There were three suspects, each of whom swore that he never let go of the hand of the other during the seance when Omar was killed. And yet you knew someone had broken the chain in order to fire the gun. Exactly. Consequently, the only reason why none could remember letting go of his neighbor's hand is that no one did, except Omar. Omar must have been holding the murderer's hand. And you couldn't very well ask Omar. No. Thus, the murder of Omar must have been sitting right next to him. Oh, but Omar had two hands. Mm -hmm, I know, but it uh, had to be Loring. You see, Commissioner Weston was sitting on Omar's other side. Oh, I see. But there's one thing you overlooked, Omar. Oh, uh, what's that? Good old Siva could have been holding hands with all of them. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,